everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a different video than what I usually post it is not pin mail um, but if you can see by the title it is a pop Funko haul I went to my local Hot Topic bought quite a few Funkos all from the same set um, they all are the new Toy Story 4 Funkos that were released. Okay, so I already took them all out of the boxes because I am not an in-the-box Funko collector. I keep them all out of the boxes when I display them. I think you can see them better and they're easier. You can fit more um, on your shelves that way. Um, when they're in the boxes, they're easier to stack and stuff but I prefer them to just be out of the box. So I already unboxed them all, so I will just go ahead and show you all of them up close here. All right, so we will start with the main man himself, Woody, here. This one is a Hot Topic exclusive. He has Forky there with him. There is just a regular Woody pop as well, but I decided not to get him because I already have two other just kind of plain uh, Woody Funko Pops, so I don't really need another one. So, I, But I did want to get the one with Forky because it's just exclusively for Toy Story 4. And it does come with the base. I don't know if you can take this off because you can see it says Bonnie on his shoe there. So that's kind of sweet but kind of heart-wrenching at the same time. We're all so used to him, seeing him with Andy on the bottom of his shoe. I love the detail on this pop, his shirts, just so detailed. I think they did a really good job with this one. Okay, next we're gonna go with Buzz. I think he's a really cool rendition of Buzz Lightyear. I don't have any just plain Buzz Pops. I do have one from the last range that came out, the Miss Nesbitt one. I think that one's hilarious. But I don't have just any plain um, Buzz Lightyear as himself. So had to get him. He This stand like is attached to him. So he's like in a flying position. Really nice detail. He also has Bonnie right there. So really cute, really nice pop. All right, next we have Jessie. I really love Jessie. I don't have any other pops of her either. Jessie is one of my favorite characters in all the Toy Story movies. I think she's so funny, so sassy, and I just I love I love her character and her song in Toy Story 2. Oh, it's just so sad, isn't it? But she's really cute. Like all the detail on her hair. It's very nice. Detail on her shirt again. Yeah, I really like Jessie. Super cute. Okay, so the next one that I have here is Bo Peep. And I think this is probably one of my favorite pops from the set looking wise because she looks absolutely stunning. I love all the detail on her, her big pink bow, love that. I love her outfit. I just think she looks so cool, so pretty. There's like a cape there. Very, very cute pop. I love her outfit so much. And she does come with like this little, little teeny tiny accessory or another person with her. I don't know. I'm guessing this is her sidekick or something. Guess we'll find out more about her in the movie. But she is really cute as well. Really teeny tiny. All right. So the next one is probably my favorite, the little green alien. He is absolutely adorable. I'm so glad that they brought him out because they did have a Toy Story Alien pop, like one of the older ones, but I don't have him and he is so expensive on eBay. So there's no way I would have gotten one if I didn't if they didn't make a new one. Um, so I'm so glad they made him. I think he is so cute. I know everyone loves the Toy Story Aliens, so they're a pretty popular character, but I mean, how could you not? They are just so cute. 
love him. All right, the next one I have here is Forky. He's a very tiny pop, very skinny. You can see it's like hollow back there. Um, but I had to get him because he looks like a very funny character in the movie. I can't wait to learn more about him. He is super cute. And of course, he does say Bonnie on the bottom of his feet because he is Bonnie's original toy. Very cute. Had to get him. Okay, two more pops to go. The next one is um, one of the also newer toys in the movie. This is Ducky. He's very cute, just like a standard little duck. I believe these are like little plushies in the movie. Very cute. Little hair up there. So I had to get him because they look like really funny characters too. Okay, my last one I'm going to show you is Bunny. Goes right with Ducky. He just, they are the two friends. And he has a little like hook on him, which makes me think he's like makes me think he's like some kind of prize or something. But Ducky doesn't have one, so not quite sure of the reason for that. Um, he has like a little tag there, so he might be like a plush for sure. And maybe Ducky isn't. I don't really know, uh, but he is really cute. I love his colors. And I think these are gonna be really funny characters in the movie for sure. Okay, so that's all the pops that I purchased. Um, I am going to show you guys all the pins that I received this past week. I did have a pin mail video that I wanted to do that I did record, but there were just some technical difficulties with it. Some of the footage didn't even record, so I'm not going to do a separate video for these pins. I'm just going to flip my camera around and give you guys a closer look at all the pins that I purchased. So let me go ahead and flip you guys around and I will give you guys a close up of all the pins that I got on eBay and from Instagram Live Sales. Alright, so I'm going to start with the ones that I bought from this eBay seller first. He is a different eBay seller that I've used other than the one I've talked about on my channel. His eBay name is D Clash Punk, something like that. I will link him in the description below, but he has really awesome pins as well. So I did get another one of these Animal Kingdom pins. This one is with mini and a little toucan. His wings move and his beak head move. I have the Mickey version of this one with the giraffe, so I don't know if there are more pins in this set. If there are, I'd like to get the rest of them to complete the set. Um, but this is kind of an older pin, it says 2002 there. It's a really cute pin though, and once I get enough pins to have an Animal Kingdom board, this will go perfectly. Okay, and then next one that I got is this Star Wars slash Haunted Mansion mashup pin. Um, this is uh, from the Star Wars Episode 5, Return of the Jedi. I really do like the Star Wars movies. I just saw the original trilogy, number 4, 5, and 6, before I went on my first Walt Disney World trip, and I really enjoyed them. My favorite by far was number 6. I really liked the story of that. I liked how Leia was um, kind of a pretty big role in that movie. So that one was my favorite for sure, and then I have seen like the newer ones like with um, Rey and Kylo Ren, and I love those as well. So you just have um, Anakin here, Obi-Wan and Yoda from that scene in the episode 5 where they're all ghosts. Really nice pin, and I love Haunted Mansion, so I love that it's just a little mashup with the hitchhiking ghosts for Haunted Mansion. Alright, so the next one I will show you is this Tower of Terrapin. I really like this. This is a really cool Tower of Terrapin. I believe this is probably just an old, like an older like open edition wrapped pin, but it's very nice quality. This uh, purple here you can see is like a stained glass element. You can see through it. You can see here. See through. And then it has the numbers all the way here to number 13 has Goofy and Mickey there, just looking terrified, and then it says Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. 
really nice pin. Tower of Terror was my favorite attraction, so I love any Tower of Terror pin that I can find for a decent price. Okay, next pin is just this rack pin of Toy Story 3. It has Jesse, Buttercup, and Trixie there. Really cute pin. I love Toy Story 3. It's probably one, it's probably my favorite Toy Story. And I love Buttercup and Trixie. I think they're really cute characters. So I love this pin. It will go perfect on my biggest board right now, my Toy Story board. All right, and my last pin that I got from this seller is this um, Yago Crooked Comrades pin. This is a limited release pin. I'm not sure when it came out. Um, but it is a limited release. I know there was a couple others in this set, but I love Aladdin. It is one of my favorite movies, so I do tend to collect Aladdin pins, and Yago is a very funny character. I think he's really cute and a really cool character. Alright, so next I will show this pin. Um, this was from an Instagram live sale. I just purchased one pin from this seller. It's um, Dream 499 pins. And I actually didn't purchase this during her live sale. She was doing pre-orders for this pin when it was released. And I claimed one of those spots to get this pin. I completely forgot that I even got this pin because I was not planning on doing her live sale because I had put myself in pin jail. I had spent too much money on pins that Saturday and Friday, so I was like, okay, I'm not spending any more money, and then I forgot that I got this one, so, um, but that's okay. I really wanted it because I really want to complete this set. This is the pop-up book set that's being released in Walt Disney World and Disneyland every month or whenever they can get them out. I know there has been some quality control issues with these pins, so, um, but they are really nice. This month was the 101 Dalmatians. You see Pongo and Perdita and all the pups there. And then when you open it up, it's like a storybook. So it says this is like a part of the movie story. I can't really read it that well on camera, but it's just part of the story. And then on this side it is a pin on pin with Prongo and Perdita and some of the pups there. And then you have the silhouette of Cruella in the background. Really nice pin, limited edition of 4,000. I think this is probably one of the nicest sets that I have seen the parks come out with as a monthly release. So I cannot wait to get all of these pins. I have all of them so far. The Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan and the Winnie the Pooh and now the Wonder One Dalmatian. So I'm doing good. I hope I can complete the set. All right, so my next little batch of pins is from Marcy Mounts on Instagram. I go to live sale. She did have some pre-sales the week before or like the week leading up to her Friday Night Live where you could, she just posted them on her Instagram and you could claim them. Um, so I claimed this one and two other ones as a pre-sale and they, these, this one and the next one I'll show you were both $5 pins. This is just one of the mystery sets, like the uh, Mickey head. And this is the Woody one. I absolutely love the detail on this pin. I think it's super, super well made. Probably one of the most detailed pins in this set for sure. Um, just a pin, uh, just a mystery pin. But I haven't opened any of these from the set, so I just really wanted to get this one and the next one that I'll show you. Alright, so I had to get the Buzz one to go with it. Again, another $5 pin from the same set. Um, I definitely think the Woody one I like better. Because of like, the detail, it, it's just super amazing on that. The detail on this one is really nice as well. Um, but I am a Woody fan, I believe, over Buzz, so... I do like that one a little bit better, but they are both really cool and I had to get both of them. So, I really like this pin. All right, and then I did get one more from like her pre-sale. Um, this is a Hong Kong Disneyland little alien pin. Um, I know that there is like a ham 
one from Toy Story in the set that I would like to get. Um, but I just got the Toy Story Alien for now. And this is a hidden Mickey pin as well. You can see a little Mickey head down there. Super cute pin. And Hong Kong just has fantastic pins. So had to get this one. Okay, so now on to the ones that I actually purchased from her live sale. This is a Disney Store pin. It is one of like the animators pins, Rapunzel, and she's all glittery, all of her hair and her dress, super glittery. I think she is probably one of the cutest princesses in animator form. I do have the animator doll to go along with her, so I have the actual animator doll and now I have the pin to match. This next one is probably one of my favorites that I have purchased in this whole pin haul. It is one of the limited edition Once Upon a Time pins. Um, I believe this was one of the like monthly releases in the parks last year. I don't know if it was exclusive to Walt Disney World or Disneyland, but um, I know that this was one of the monthly releases. I'm pretty sure anyway. And it is just really, really stunning. This first side here, you can see it's Ariel and Eric and their like wedding attire. And then you flip it and it shows Ariel and her mermaid look and then Ursula here. Really stunning pin. And I paid a pretty good price, I think, for this. So I had to get this limited edition of 2000 very nice pin. All right, the next pin that I got was one of these latte pins. Again, I believe this was a um, limited edition monthly release in the parks last year, uh, but this is the Maleficent one. I don't have any of these except for this one. There's a few more that I would maybe like to get um, for this set, but I just got Maleficent for now because she is my favorite villain, so really wanted her and this is just a really nice quality pin as well um, limited edition of 3000 very nice pin all right and now we have this um, dopey pin this is a limited edition of 500 I'm not really sure where this came from but it is really cute it's like dopey in the mine train scooping up some gems there and it does say this is a set um, one of three so I don't know what the other pins in this set are I would like to find out if there are more of the dwarves and maybe get those um, or just see what they are because I do love Snow White and I do have a Snow White section on my board so he will go perfectly there I think he's really cute and the last pin from her is not one that I actually purchased. This was actually a freebie that they threw in. And it was a blind bag. So I think he's really cute. Um, I'm not usually too crazy about those Zoom Zoom pins. They're okay. I think some of them look a little weird. I actually just traded the other two Zoom Zoom pins that I had away. Um, but I think he actually looks really cute in Zoom Zoom form and I probably will keep him. Okay, and I have one more seller show here. This is um, Disney Chris on Instagram, also known as Happiest Pins on Earth, I believe, on Facebook. Um, she has a fantastic fantasy pins. I haven't bought any of them yet, um, but I have had my eye on a few of them. So we'll see if I get some of those eventually. But for now, I just have these like Disney authentic pins. This is one of the Pixar pins that was released in Disneyland. Um, it says Monsters Inc. down there. You have Mike and Sully. It has like the little yellow tank where they keep the screams. A little monster head there. Really nice detailing on this border. It's a really pretty pin and this is an annual pass holder as well. Annual pass holder exclusive. Limited edition of 2000. Really nice pin. Next we have this Fantasmic pin. Um, 
Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to Fantasmic when we were in Walt Disney World this past fall. Um, I, I really wanted to go, but we had a dinner reservation during the time, so we, we missed that. But I'm hoping whenever we go back that we get to watch it because I love Apprentice Mickey and I love Maleficent and Maleficent as the Dragon. So um, I would really love to see that. I think it would be a fantastic show. And I really like this pen. They are two of my favorite characters. So I had to get this even though I haven't seen the show. Um, what was an edition of 1500? And again, this is part of a set. So not sure what else is in the set. Maybe I'll look into that and see if any of the pins would be of interest. All right, and this next pin that I got here is Dumbo as a clown with a little feather in his trunk. I just think he is absolutely darling. This is from one of the newer limited edition sets, like them in disguises or costumes or something. I'm not sure what it's called, but I saw that there was a Dumbo one and I really wanted to get him because he is just so cute. And this scene where he's up there in the building and it's on fire and he has to like jump down into that um, pool or trampoline or something is he's just so cute I feel so bad for him but this picture this pin he's just adorable limited edition of 1000 very nice pin and I got this for a really good price um, a lot cheaper than I've seen on eBay so I had to get him Second to last pin, this is a Disneyland Resort Christmas pin, 2008 it says there. Um, a Nightmare Before Christmas pin, you have Jack and Zero sitting there and then there's this little present that slides open and it has like the evil duck there. Really nice pin, really cute, I do love Nightmare Before Christmas, it's a fantastic film. Uh, limited edition of 1000 as well. Very nice pin. And the last pin for this video is another Nightmare Before Christmas pin. This is 2015. It says tricks and treats up here and then you have little zero. He has a little pumpkin. He looks like he's gonna go trick-or-treating or trick and treating I guess. And then you open this up and you have Jack there looking all menacing and terrifying. And this green part actually glows in the dark. So really nice touch. It's a really beautiful pin. Nightmare Before Christmas is a movie, movie you can watch all the holiday season, I think, from Halloween to Christmas. And the limited edition of 1500. It's a really nice pin. Alright, and that is all that I have to show you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I really hope that if you're a new friend here watching one of my videos for the first time, that you liked what you saw, and you will come back for future videos. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and have a great Star Wars day. Thanks. Bye.